The Chevron Creek Bridge 100 years ago was an important link between Winslow and Holbrook. When it was originally built in 1912, 1913, it was built for less than $5,000. Today, it's still an important transportation corridor for us. An important part of doing a rehabilitation like this is that it's not just the structural the steel members of the bridge that have been subject to decay over the past, you know, 100 years. The, the, the abutments where the bridge rests had also, you know, decayed quite a bit. When the project started, they ran a number of cables across the canyon. They built a temporary aluminum deck, and the workers used that. That's how they got around on the bridge. They started in late August, and we got completed at the end of December. That included uh, removing the old concrete deck. Okay, here we go. Raising it up off the abutments, reconstructing those abutments. Sandblasting all of the old lead paint off of it. The National Environmental Policy Act required us to look at the potential adverse effects of the lead paint on the bridge. So what we had to do is we call lead abatement, which means that we're going to remove all of that lead-bearing material and get it out of the environment. They basically cocooned the entire bridge in, in plastic. So by using that cocoon to contain the paint as they sandblasted it off, they were able to remove it all without having any of it fall down into the river. Once we had the, the bare metal exposed, repaint the bridge using modern non-lead based paint. One of the things that helped this project it was the utilization of lightweight concrete. It was to help increase the load limit on the bridge. Lighter concrete means we could put heavier vehicles on it. So really the entire supporting structure of the bridge had to be rebuilt. ADOT not only works on freeways and our, our main roads that we see around the state, but we also help counties work on projects that they wouldn't be able to do on their own. The restoration of this bridge wouldn't have come about if it hadn't been for ADOT. They had the expertise to put the project out to bid, select the contractor, complete the administration work that was required by the federal government. And we're very proud of the project and it's really nice to be part of these historic rehabilitation projects. I think it's just great. I mean, that's a, that's a good looking bridge. They don't make them like that anymore. <laughs> ADOT. Keeping Arizona moving.